Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two Wheel Thunder TV, where we're often imitated, but never ever duplicated. We're always looking for new and innovative products here at Two Wheel Thunder TV. And today here, we're here with Mark Wilson. Mark Wilson is one of the inventors, innovators of custom parts and motorcycle accessories that makes your ride more comfortable. Mark, appreciate you joining us today, bro. Nice to see you again, Jimmy. Bro, you've got an, uh, a, a hammock that goes on a bike that is just is really cool. We've seen it at the Lone Star Rally down in Galveston. We've seen it at the Love Rally out in California. And for an old West Virginia boy, you've, you've got a great idea. Tell us what's going to happen here today. Well, Jimmy, we're going to come in here to Will Thunder's garage, and we're going to show how to install one of these hammocks onto this 2008 Ultra Classic here. Just go through the steps, make it you know, so you understand what it is you have to do and show you how easy it is to put this on the, on the motorcycle and, uh, you know, hook you up with something that you can go out and enjoy riding and you don't have to worry about staying in hotels all the time or the cops rousing you for laying on the ground on the picnic tables and things like that, so. Well, it sounds like a cool idea because, you know, when we, when we travel, not always, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to stop and get a hotel room. Sometimes we just can't afford it. And if you're running like the Iron Butt Run, the Coast to Coast Runs, the CC Runs, Hoka Hay, Guts of Glory, any of these runs like that, you don't want to spend a lot of time. And maybe sometime you're just down at the beach and you just want to kind of pull up and hang out at the beach and you just want to lay there and look at all the pretty girls walk by. And this is a nice way Some of doing it. Some of us like to do that, don't we? Some of us like, most motorcycle guys like to do that. Yeah. It's kind of like the three B's, you know, bays, bikes, and boobs. We all like to watch those things as it goes around. But we're going to break this up into like five parts where we can go through and you're going to show us exactly how to put this thing on. And somebody as mechanically as illiterate as I am, that you're going to show me exactly how this is done in a way that just anybody can do this in their own garage with basic tools they can get down here at Lowe's or Sears or any craftsman store. Yeah, we're going to make it simple. Um, Pat's going to shoot some video for you. so you. You can show it to your buddies and, and see how it goes on there real easy. And uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to put it on. We've got a list of tools here, all the parts here. Uh, probably a couple hours of work, and you'll have this thing on your bike. Uh, some people may do it a little faster. Uh, maybe got a little better setup. Uh, we're going to use your lift here, Jimmy, but this can be put on on the ground. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have a lift. Um, also, once we get it on, we're going to show you how fast it is to set this thing up and catch some some uh, sleep. You know, we can once it's installed on the bike, you can pull in a spot and and pull this thing off your bike out of your saddlebags and and put it on the bike and be laying in the hammock in two to three minutes. And and then same way when you tear it down, in less than five minutes you're back on the road. So them guys that's going on them uh, iron butts and trying to make good time, that's really come in handy for them. Sweet. It's convenient. It's inexpensive. It's durable. It's easy to put on. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't alpha ask for a better opportunity than that. And what we're going to do, like uh, Mark said, we're using a Titan lift. You don't have to have a Titan lift. Titan makes some good lifts, but you don't need a lift. You can do it on your garage floor. You can do it just about anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through steps. We're going to show you the tools you need and everything you need to do. And ladies and gentlemen, you stay with us and watch how this process goes about. And Jimmy, I'll give you just a brief overview if you want about the, the different uh, parts of this install. Um, first thing we're going to do is prep the bike by removing this lower on the right hand side and both okay. saddlebags. All right. And of course we picked our tools out and that's the prep part. We'll be getting all your tools ready. Uh, I can go over a list of that. Uh, you might need a drill depending on your, your bike. Uh, well you're going to need a drill if you have the lower and an inch and a half wholesale bit. Um, We've got a 3 8 Allen wrench. We've got a 3 8 Allen socket. Makes it a little bit handier. A T40 Torx bit. A couple of 3 8 ratchets. And an ensemble of different length extensions. And we've got a 7 16 opening box in. A half inch. We've got two half inch, 9 16 and 3 quarter inch box in opening wrenches. A straight and Phillips screwdriver. A gray Sharpie. Some Loctite. A pair of scissors can of touch up paint and we have a some people call these a unibit we may want to use that later so that's kind of the list of the tools that's all you're going to need to put this thing on the bike and uh, we're going to get with it here and show you how it's done 
Well, crud, I got all these in my stuff. <laughs> so, for somebody who doesn't have any tools, I've got enough to put this together. So, let's get going. Okay, Jimmy, let's get started, buddy. All right. <laughs> 